Hello there. It's Nooch, and welcome to day 17 of Kylo Quest. Nooch's new free-to-play account we're requesting after Supreme Leader Kylo Ren to see how much time it takes Nooch to get to Supreme Leader Kylo Ren free-to-play. Uh, we're in for a long haul. So let's take a look what we did this week. On day 17, we unlocked a seven-star Farm Boy Luke. And you may wonder, why are we unlocking Farm Boy Luke if the only goal is to get to seven-star Kylo Ren? Well, part of the issue is that Palpatine is a requirement for that seven-star Kylo Ren, uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, to get Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, period. And to unlock Palpatine, we need a team of five rebels. And if we're going to get some rebels... While we do think that we do see that Phoenix are valuable, part of the issue is that we got Phoenix kind of in some of the same places. Hera and Ezra are both in Cantina, so it'd be kind of weird to wait to farm them. So, and you need Farm Boy Luke to get CLS, and CLS is a very important character. You know, we're not just gonna abandon everything else we do while trying to get Kylo Ren. So, we farm Farm Boy Luke to seven stars. Uh, we've taken a look at our rebels here because we are on the path to Palpatine. On our Kylo quest, where are the rebels? Rebels, rebels. Rebel, rebel. Okay, so Luke, Princess Leia, Kanan are all at five stars, and Biggs and Akbar are about to take the five stars as well in the next few days. Why Biggs and Akbar? Well, guys, Nooch, for one thing, loves, loves, loves the rebel fleet. Loves it. It is it is an amazing fleet. Nooch uses it with his main account in Grand Arena. Uh, try to play with that. Play with it as much as possible. It is Nucha's favorite fleet to play with. Vinylizer is a close second. If we look at Arena right now, Nooch at 416 is actually the lowest or the highest, whatever you want to call it, that Nooch has ever been. It's really a challenge. You see here we got level 85 players ahead of us. These people have paid for the Hyperdrive bundle, which is their right. It seems like about somewhere between two to 400 people have paid for this bundle, which makes it difficult for a free-to-play player to keep up. So right now we're only getting 500 of these of the Arena Currency Days, 60 gems, 18,000 uh, credits. Don't worry about the credits, but uh, the 60 gems, crystals, and the 500 Arena Credits. It's just not super exciting, and I'm hoping, hoping, I don't know what it's going to look like. We'll see what that ship arena shard looks like when we get into it. But if we can build up some ships here in the meantime and be prepared to make a little bit of hay in ship shard, then uh, Nooch kind of feels positive about that. So in light of that, a couple things are going on. Since we finished our Farm Boy Luke, and he was, I think he's the first node of Cantina, so he's very quick, easy to farm. We got him... Seven stars in 17 days. Now we're farming Kylo Ren in Cantina. And the reason for that is on his node, we also get his ship. And Kylo Ren's ship, the TIE Silencer, is so valuable. If we can get that thing unlocked to like four or five stars when everything else is, is somewhere in the two to three star range, that thing will be blowing away fleets. It'll be owning the fleets and putting us up in the top 20, we hope, we're hoping, Nooch is hoping, it'll be between putting Nooch up toward the top early on where we can get lots of currency. Uh, not only we're gonna get crystals, we'll get ship currency, but we'll also get the currency for Zetas, which I, I don't even know what that's called. Let's take a look and see if we can see what it's called. I think it's locked right now. Um, if we go over here, and there's one more thing we're gonna look at, it's the wrong place. If we look in shipments, it is, Right Championship Store. I think that's it. Is it Guild Events? Fleet Commander. Okay, I, I don't even know, guys. But you can <laughs> you can buy you can you can get uh, shards in there. But primarily, you want to save that currency for for Zetas because they become really important as you move forward. So that's what we're doing. Nooch has got a really really strong bent toward fleets. Let's talk a little bit more about the things Nooch is doing and avoiding. Um, so not activating some of the ships that I'm not going to need for a long time. And Nooch's, uh, I did not activate Endurance. I don't plan on ever using Endurance for anything. Personally, I'd rather have Home 1 and Executrix out there than Endurance. I just don't like Endurance as a ship. It's useless in the end game. Absolutely, completely useless. And so Nooch is not going to lock the ships that go along with Endurance for now. We're going to really focus on TIE Silencer. Uh, we're going to try and focus on Biggs. Not really sure how that farm's going to go. I think he is in the Galactic War Shop, and we got some other stuff to farm in there. So we'll see how 
how the bigs farming goes. We've already got uh, soldier unlocked. These are the one star unlocks that they give you for free as you, you go through the ships. Another note, while we're farming uh, rebels to get Palpatine, we're also farming Empire because you have to farm the Empire to get R2, and R2 is necessary to get CLS. And R2 be another rebel character we can use to try to unlock Palpatine. Nooch's plan is to find the cheapest, uh, easiest Palpatine unlock possible. We'll share that when it happens. We'll actually run through the final stage of the event uh, on this on this channel. <laughs> Nooch is barely awake. So we have Darth Vader at four stars. It's probably going to be another 20 plus days before, before we get into five stars because that is all achievements. You can't get Vader unlock without achievements unless you pay for them and we're free to play. We have Gary the Stormtrooper at five stars. We have Royal Garb. We're going to have him at five stars in the next few days. Other than that, uh, Tarkin, we can move Tarkin to five stars after we finish farming Akbar in the arena store because Tarkin is also in the arena store. I'm, I'm just kind of going back and forth with that, trying to figure out where we're going to go. Uh, do we take all of the rebel characters to seven stars so we can really get after a seven star Palpatine? Because Nooch envisions an arena team of Palpatine, Vader, Tarkin, uh, maybe the Royal Guard or Stormtrooper. And who is the other Empire we're going to put in there because we'll get them unlocked. Maybe, it will, oh yeah, Thrawn. So once we start getting our Phoenix unlocked, we can get Thrawn. And, and you know, early game, even with people running Bastille and other teams, that Palpatine team could be really, really dangerous. Although against Bastille, it's kind of challenging because of all the tenacity. Here's our Phoenix. Um, since I haven't been really grinding hard on it, I did gr on Kanan. Kanan and Ezra are actually endgame Jedis that you can use in the endgame. The rest of these guys, no, they're useless. And Nooch is planning to do a video on that because Nooch has these guys relic in his main account. Don't relic these guys. For the love of God, don't do it. So we're planning to, uh, we'll get on these guys here soon, but that's going to be a secondary farm to getting Palpatine and R2 unlocked. Um, that is really all the places we are. One more thing about the collection is we're, we're not spending and moving. Oh, I guess we'll show our first order here. But like Night Sister Zombie, I have nothing to do with her right now. So I'm just leaving her. I just activated at level one. Mace Windu haven't even activated yet. Just one of the worst characters in the game. Uh, what a waste of an amazing movie, movie and TV show character. First order special forces tie pilot. That's nice. I got some shards, but you know he really isn't going to do me much good until I get a first order team. Until I get crew activated, he's not much help to me. And actually, until I get into grand arena um, or ships, I really don't have much use for him at all. Ewok scout. I keep getting I keep getting shards for Ewok scout, clone sergeant, IG eighty six in the in the uh, the bronzium poles. I don't know why I have IG-86 clones here other than that I think I was trying to do Galactic War early or Dark Side Battles early and I haven't touched them in a while. Clone Sergeant's the same way. You, you get them early, you level them up so you can get through some levels and you don't touch them. And let's take a look at, otherwise than that, uh, we do need to get some Scoundrels up. The only Scoundrels Nooch has right now are Clone Wars, Chewbacca, IG-11, and Quill. And they are used for the, the credit heist. And that's really important because Nooch is really struggling for credits right now. So we'll have to see when we get closer to that. When it, Next time it comes out, maybe Nooch will look at leveling up IG-11. But, I, man, I don't want to farm Chewy. But it, these guys all at three stars will get me more credits than they would at two stars. And finally, let's look at where we are with our first order because that's what we're doing. We're on the Kylo Quest. We need the first order plus Palpatine to unlock him. And here's our first order. We've got the first order Stormtrooper already at four stars. He'll be at, well, actually, let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and promote him to five stars right now. We're at, we've been slowing down our leveling up. I, I, you know, I'm at level 54 right now. I'll be level 55 soon. You see, level 54 cost me 54,000 credits, and I've only got 700,000. And I'm going to be needing to rev up, uh, level up those rebels soon, so... Nooch has been using First Order Stormtrooper in his arena team, so we'll go ahead and level him up. Uh, I guess we'll show what that arena team looks like, too. Here's our First Order farming so far. Kylo is right now our cantina farm. It's probably going to be, uh, Nooch guesses, at least a month. It's not, it's going to go It's not going to go in 17 days like, like Farm Boy Luke did because we're going to be getting less level ups, so less cantina free energy. And he is a 10-cost node as opposed, as opposed to Luke's 8-cost node. So I'm guessing about a month. We'll get, I'm thinking 30 days. Today is the 8th of January. I'm thinking somewhere uh, mid-February we'll have Kylo at 7 stars with his ship. That's going to go. We're going to take him all the way to 7 stars right now in, in the cantina. 
mainly for the ship, and because if we can get Kylo Ren unmasked at seven stars, and we got the, the Stormtrooper sitting here, we've got the two tanks already built in for that First Order team, and even with just these other three characters in here, uh, we could really do some damage, maybe even an arena with that team. So that would be a really effective team because... Or to put on defense to hold because you just can't do, you just can't touch Kylo Ren when he is uh, the leader on defense. And finally, the arena team. Uh, we're not going to go into battle here, but let's take a look at what Nooch's arena team. We're going with Darth Vader, who is Gear 7, 4 star, Tarkin, uh, Gary the Stormtrooper, First Order Stormtrooper, both at 5 stars, and Gear 7. And Luke is in there as well since he's our highest star character and highest gear character. We do have mods on them at this point. We've been farming some mods. Uh, they're not super exciting, but uh, we're getting there. You know, we, we see we had a couple four dot mods on Luke here, and uh, yeah, we're moving forward on mods. So that's kind of exciting, and we'll see where that takes us in the future, guys. That's really it. We're on day we're on day seventeen. We're actually on day eighteen now, but on day seventeen, unlock seven star Farm Boy Luke on our way to Kylo Quest to see how quickly we can unlock Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And while we're doing that, always remember, Nooch too good. Thanks for watching, and please like the video down below. You can also check out Nooch's contributors up there. You can subscribe on Darth Vader over here, and you can watch more videos on this side. We'll see you next time.